Well, do you have a treasure in your attic and don't even know it? Our next guests discover them all the time, all around the country. They've been touring the United States for the last 15 years, hunting for the best antiques anywhere. Marsha Bernco is the executive producer of the Emmy-nominated Antiques Roadshow that airs on PBS. And uh, Kathy Bailey is a certified antique dealer and appraiser. Good morning, ladies. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. And, of course, we have several people back here. A couple of their faces may look familiar. They work here at Fox 6. Ex excuse me, Fox 6. San Diego 6. Slap myself here. Um, <laughs> all right, so, uh, Marsha, first of all, you guys haven't been in San Diego since 2001. Yes. What's taking you so long to get back here? You know, we don't like to repeat a city any more than every five years, otherwise you get tired of us. And it's about booking a convention center. Boring, but we're going to see five to 6,000 people tomorrow. Five to 6,000 people. Yeah. And you, you, say, you were saying you, have, you had 18,000 people apply uh, for those tickets. Yeah, they're, and they come in pairs, so it's 3,000 pairs, and just shy of 18,000 people in, San, in this area wanted to come to the show. We're sorry to disappoint you, San Diego. But... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, we'll see great things because each person is bringing two objects. So we're going to see 10 to 12,000 objects and make three episodes of television from that. All right, we're going to see a few objects today. Kathy, what do we have here? Well, we have here a camera that was made in Germany in 1920s. It was made by Frank and Company with original leather case. It has all the bells and whistles, and this camera would be about $1,000. A thousand dollars. Thousand dollars. This is a very owner. nice, very nice. <laughs> no kidding. Gosh, I've seen these probably more times than I can count when I was living back in the South. All right, what about this? And then this, I'm going to give you okay. this for just a second. We have what we call here a cocktail shaker, and if you put that up over your shoulder, over my shoulder, and you shake cocktails like this, something like this. Really. Well, this is a lipstick holder made of sterling silver, <laughs> and it's called Party Time. And we had to figure out what in the world did that mean. And there's the lipstick inside. There's the sterling. Well, of course, you, when you're having a party, you're dancing. It's party so you're time. you're having party time. And this piece is worth about $325. Oh, my. Then we have here a wonderful little piece of enamel. It's very tiny. Um, it's uh, French enamel, has a little tiny bit of damage on it, would have hung on a Chatelaine uh, chain with a lot of other enamel pieces. In as-is conditions, uh, it's about 1830s, 1840s, about $150. $150. Bucks. $150. And, and we've seen plenty of these. You don't see many of these anymore, though, but an, an, an Underwood typewriter. Underwood typewriter. Of course, in my age group, I remember these. No, I guess it was before my time. But this one uh, actually is in pretty good condition. It does need a bath. Now, that doesn't mean water. That means professionally clean. <laughs> right. And in the condition it's in now, $65. If it's repaired, $120, $125. And how many people have those, you know, hanging out somewhere in the garage Not or the very attic? Not many. All right, pick some of these items here. Okay. We have, uh, we know, have some... a book here. Um, books are very big at the road show, okay. Antiques Road Show. And this book is written by um, Robert Service, and he was known for mainly in Canada for all of his work. And it happens to have a signature inside. Uh, not all books are worth hundreds of thousands of dollars with signatures, so you have about a $60, $60 item. Then we have a sweet little uh, baby sitting in a bathtub, cast iron bathtub. Uh, the cast iron, probably 1860s, 1870s, extremely rare. Uh, three or four, five hundred dollars that could be. The doll is from uh, 19th to the turn of the 20th century, beautiful blue eyes, open mouth, original teeth. And she's worth about 350. These are original clothes of the time period. Then we have here. This is a lesson for all of us. Uh, this piece has a crack in the top and a little chip on the bottom. It's very important to remember that old chips have no more value than new chips. Does that make sense? <laughs> so try not to buy damaged or chip pieces unless you're buying them to use them to put flowers in and have fun with them. Then we have <coughs> a partner to the baby doll. This one's a little bit older, and she's full, full body doll, jointed body, bisque face, original teeth, blue eyes again, about $350. Then we have a sweet little miniature teddy bear, and the miniatures, he's got a little fuzz missing, you see there, that's a little bit of wear. Otherwise, he's in pretty good condition, about $125. Wow. Uh, the watch, I wasn't able to get the back off the watch to see if it's gold, which would make a huge difference. If, 
1912 would be about the right date, Elgin. Um, if we get the back off and it's gold, gold melt right now is very high. So it would be worth more, unfortunately, melted, but never melted, uh, than it is. So if it's gold, it could be $1,000, maybe uh, two. All right, Kathy, we are out of time. You can, you can appraise the knife uh, off camera. Very uh, good. But, uh, you know, tell us, Marsha, a lot of people are wondering, you, you said you have five to 6,000 people that are coming down to the oh. convention center tomorrow. When are the episodes going to air on PBS? Yeah, we'll start airing sometime after January because we're going to tape all summer. If you come to our website in September, we'll let you know the day we know when they'll start airing it. Sometime between January and May, most likely. Great. Thanks for coming Thank in, you. Kathy. Thanks for appraising. Thank and guys, thanks for uh, you know bringing all your Thank goods. You all. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let's